so welcome guys uh, to this part one the first one the first part was um, a small introduction to the model itself I hope you um, enjoyed that part um, from the initial building uh, what I've done I've started um, assembling the kit um, I've also um, started putting on <coughs> fixing some of the um, the problems that uh, the the lower hull will had against uh, the upper hull um, dumped a lot of putty on that and um, sanded that down also there were a couple of um, problems <coughs> on on the deck also um, mainly um, so just some cracks and um, it was a really bad fit let's see if I can change the camera here uh, so one of the bad fits that I found that was really hard to fix was this these parts here um, it says in the um, in the instructions that you need to cut but it doesn't say which angle against the deck and the deck is a little bit curved uh, so these were a little bit of a hassle and the um, the fit is not good so there was a lot of cracks that needed to be uh, filled in and um, the last part that was really um, standing out was the bow so that's basically uh, what was um, that what's uh, what's um, was the main issues with the um, with the hull I also sanded down the structure here <coughs> on the um, on the deck because the um, it was too um, defined. It was um, protruding a little bit um, too much, and of course this is this use <coughs> this is a model which is supposed to be uh, an RC model. That means that um, here, here's what the uh, where's the, where the engine is supposed to go, and um, here's basically where this part here is something that you sh should be able to pull up, open, and put in the um, the batteries and stuff. But um, the fit isn't that all. The fit isn't that good. Uh, the only problem that I have here is that. Um, um, trying to fill in the the edges here is not easy um, so what I basically did I just took a very thin strip of um, plastic and uh, filled the um, the part that was really um, showing uh, I'm not going to uh, do anything about the other lines here because uh, hopefully um, I will uh, when I start to um, put some um, paint on it it will blend a little bit better in um, so yeah uh, that's basically what I've done um, prepared the hull for its first uh, uh, paint color um, and uh, then I'll see what I need to do more regarding the sanding I can feel there are some uh, bumps but um, I think uh, all in all, it's pretty good. So um, the um, even though you can, see, it looks like it's there's a there's a bit of a edge here, but it's not. It's totally flat. I sanded everything down, even though it looks like it's. Um, but it's still a little bit. But I, I, when the first uh, coat of paint will um, come on it, uh, I will s probably need to sand it a little bit more. But um, as it is now, that's basically as far as I'm going to do it um, at this stage. Moving on. The next part was <coughs> a part of the superstructure uh, some of the doors here are open so I um, 
went for the option to open it so I need to um, and it will be mounted like this Let's see if we can so on the kit this was supposed to be open like this I'm not sure how the, the the locking mechanism for the kit if it was supposed to be like a, an RC model but um, well this is going to be a static model so it, I, I don't care that much um, there were some uh, gaps that needed to be filled and sanded also I chose to take away all the um, the railing or the stairs that was basically uh, molded into the the plastic I'm going to uh, use photo etch here uh, the doors I'm going to leave as is because they are pretty good detailed I also see here that uh, there's a ladder here that I need to uh, take away so you can see here I forgot to take away one ladder that needs to be removed and uh, on the other side I also see that we have a ladder here that I need to remove and one here that I need to remove. So yeah, I thought I was done with this part, but apparently not. Um, so the next part is, uh, yeah, and also um, some sanding needs to be done here. Uh, this part, and of, of course also there's a ladder here that I need to add and also here, but all in all, pretty okay. Next star, uh, thing that I started on was is the funnel. Um, in the drawing, it's uh, there are three parts in the drawing that you are supposed to um, uh, put on, but these are all covered, of course. Being an RC model, you don't want to have uh, water coming in through the funnel when you're uh, <coughs> driving it in water. But um, I need to figure out how I'm supposed to, how I can fix that, or, I, or how, or how I can um, uh, fix that with photo etch or some plastic rods. Uh, I'm just going to try to see if I can find. A specific part on how it's supposed to be glued but of course I won't can't find it now um, oh yeah of course not visible yeah here we go so here you can see all the parts and these parts are basically filled with just some notion of the fine photo etch for you for those of you guys who has um, who has built um, for example the Bismarck in 1 to 200 scale and used photo etch on the funnel on that ship you know that and of course the, the other ships you know that these are open and I'm not sure how I'm uh, supposed to uh, fix this on this part. Um, maybe I'll just make something just to um, make it look like it is something. Uh, I'm, uh, I haven't come, come that far yet, so um, yeah. Um, I also taken away the um, around the funnel here on both sides. Um, there are the uh, correct characteristic um, uh, Japanese um, railings, I guess. And um, the next part that I've built and done ready is the um, anti-air platform. This is supposed to slot in like this, and then be mounted on the model itself here and that fit is pretty good I needed to sand the bottom 
on sanding paper just to uh, make it level. But this goes here and this just slots in and align up with the um, with the underlying um, hull. So this is basically it. And of course then you have this here. So looking at it from above, you can see that we have the rear, the midsection funnel, and of course the um, the bridge and stuff here is going to come here. But it's um, slowly getting there, and the, the 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 plastic rod that I put, oops, is not is almost not going to be show showing here. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. It's just my quick fix of doing this stuff here. Um, nothing else. Maybe I'll put some. Um, maybe I'll put some white uh, rods over here too, just to um, put get, make that line go away on both sides. <clears throat> unless you've seen the, unless you've built this model yourself and see it on see it and know know how it is um you, you won't think that this is nothing else than an integral part of the um of the deck so <clears throat> the um after doing this building these i started on the um the main guns and as you can see we have the main guns here and um I spoke to a really, really good modeler, which name is Chris Meddings, and I told him that um, I was maybe going to uh, try to uh, replicate the um, the railings on on these guns because these guns are really uh, I used to say uh, specific for the gun for the for the ships, and especially these guns, uh, the original kit is this this is what you get and this is how it looks after it has received its um, photo etch guns so you can see that yeah i think um i think the details is a little is a little bit better and um when you when i've done all four of them uh, i think it's going to uh make the model a little bit more interesting when it comes to details and um, as another guy that I listen to on the podcast uh, he says all oh, everything is in the details <laughs> but I'm not going to go that far uh, I'm just a novice in this and uh, this is really well, basically breaking my heart when I tried to do this uh, the first time that I did it uh, uh, I've never been so frustrated in my life because I've never done this kind of scratch building before so it was a steep learning process but I think I got it a little bit I understand now what I need to do so I'm going to show you um, basically what I do how how I do it I drill all the holes I'm going to use this as a template and then use this I marked up basically by having a sharpie like this and then basically uh, trace the lines around so I have a straight line and now I need to drill the holes there's a lot of holes I'm going to drill the holes like basically for the for the sides of the gun the main guns um, but all the holes around here as you can see on the, on the top of it I'm going to drill by hand so uh, yeah wish me luck so this is basically uh, my little drill that i have bought on wish it's uh, powered by my pc a little cord and it runs pretty good i like it so here it goes I need bigger, better eyes. Oh, where's my? Here we go.
So, there you have it. All the holes are drilled. And now comes the other fun part. And that is to um, plug all the holes with O5 millimeter plastic rods that I need to cut up in this these small size lengths and then plug every hole. So So need to uh <clears throat> So this is the uh finished porcupine after drilling all the holes and plugging them with uh, 05 millimeter rods. So that's the third one. Then I just need to do the last one. So see you in a bit. So this is the um, the end product for the last hour. So these are the two last ones. So um, in total, there will be four with uh, new barrels, and hopefully, they will be they will resemble each other. But um, and hopefully, when they are done and they're on the model they're painted and everything is um on the model uh hopefully uh, they will um help the model to pop up a little bit that is at least my my wish so next time in the part three we will continue assembling the different parts that we um that we need to put together uh, the bridge, for example, and see what we need, what what we can do there uh, regarding um, some fine details, um, and then we need to um, then I need to uh, start finding uh, the photo edge, so all the ladders and all the other things that uh, I have to uh, scrounge from uh, my parts box from other builds, so um, it will not be um, pure. Um, Japanese design but um, it will just be uh, some small details that uh, resembles uh, the same part uh, hopefully more detailed and uh, will give a, a, a more complete detailed look of the Akisuki than the parts itself so yeah that was it um, thank you for dropping by and um, hopefully Sometime in the future, uh, part number three will come. So, until then, have a good one.